Hello everyone, how are you? Okay, my coffee's empty, so I'm already good for the day, but I'm excited because I just want to catch up, talk about the new perfumes that are coming out. Like, I want to see what's up and coming, what's been out. I feel like I'm a little behind, but yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy. Let's just see what's out there. I want to know what you guys want to try. If there's something super specific you want to see me try, let me know that, but let's just get into it and see what's out there. Okay, to start us off, I get a lot of my perfume news from Makeup On Your Radar on Instagram, also Trend Mood, but I feel like Makeup On Your Radar has a lot of not only makeup options but all the fragrance newness like all the fragrance new releases sometimes even just like stock updates are on there so definitely check them out first i'm gonna start off with one from killian this is one you know i go back and forth i'm kind of interested in it's sun kissed goddess this has white tr flower it has ylang ylang coconut vanilla so it is that kind of classic i feel like summery sunscreen scent like coconut a tropical floral some vanilla or some musk i feel like that sunscreen scent that's what usually is in there so the part of me that's like ooh, maybe this will be the one for me is excited for it and then there's this other part of me that's like ooh, here it comes all the summer perfumes that are gonna have a similar scent profile to this I feel like we're already seeing it the flower bomb tiger lily from Victor and Rolf kind of has a similar smell to me that's just like a flanker of flower bomb but it's very much like a tropical floral thing so anyway I'm excited for it I can't wait to smell it I mean with all the perfumes I want to smell everything I would love to get my nose on literally every perfume let's smell it I don't care what the notes are I want to smell it and see what it is but in terms of personal I feel like that one's in the middle like I'm excited to smell it and maybe it'll work out but maybe not because that summery scent I want to like it more than I do I think that's the truth I want to like it more than I actually tend to wear it some new perfumes from mix bar these are exciting because mix bar is sold at Target so very affordable and there are two new scents there's passion fruit nectar and salt petals and I want to try both of these I would say my favorite mix bar scent is the coconut palm I think that one's really good um, and I have a couple other I think it's called vanilla bourbon that one smells good too but I haven't seen something new from them in a while so I think it's exciting to get some new scents especially because those both seem pretty appropriate for summer there's something fruity something a little bit more like musky salt air I'm assuming so I'm excited for those I definitely want to get my nose on them and then Pacifica is also doing some updating I don't know how many new ones there are I want to say there's like three new ones but there is also a repackage going on with this so there's dream moon I want to say that one was there before this one has pink rose sandalwood and patchouli in it then there's beach day that has sandalwood orange flower and smoke okay unexpected note then there's silver moon cardamom clove vanilla and almond there's montana sky i want to say this one's new elder flower cedar wood and sage indian coconut nectar that's definitely just a repackage because i know they had that one before which was coconut vanilla and amber there you go and then island vanilla which is also one that's been around that's sugar vanilla and vetiver but i will say i was looking at ulta and some of the reviews of that are saying it does not smell like the original so you'll have to let me know if you love the original island vanilla and you've smelled this new one is it the same is is it different I want to know your opinion please okay and I didn't realize there's one more passion fruit this has passion fruit pineapple and pedigree in it so again another exciting more affordable launch I think so let me know if you'd be interested in me picking this up maybe doing a video I do love my niche but I'm always on the hunt for finding those affordable gems that I genuinely love just as much but speaking of niche I'm not sure if I talked about this in my last perfume video that I did like this I don't think I did though but from perfumes to Marley there is Perseus I don't know I thought we saw this one Hmm. Forgive me if I'm talking about this again because for some reason I feel like this is so familiar but this looks super sunny, super summery because of the yellow color here but this is supposed to be a woody aromatic fragrance. It is part of the men's line you can tell from the bottle and some of the notes on this grapefruit, bergamot, black currant, green mandarin, vetiver, geranium, dry wood, ambergris, and cashmere wood. I definitely want to smell it. I love a little grapefruit vetiver. I think those smell so good together and I usually love ambergris and I love my woody notes. So I want to smell this even though it's for guys I kind of just want to get a read on it and my husband's also into fragrance so I want to smell it and see if it'd be a good one for him there's a new scent from Diaz and Durga out this one's called black magenta this says city at night in bold colorful fumes it's pineapple glow is that the note I don't know magenta dianthus I'm assuming a flower iris twilight tobacco and black amber pair with loud music I guess what's in here is pink pineapple which I tend to read as like a little bit more of a sugary pineapple instead of more acidic I guess but I definitely want to smell this I'm always 
always so intrigued by Dia Sandurga releases. I just find them so creative. I love the marketing. They tend to have ideas I just really think are fun to kind of keep up on. So I'm definitely interested in smelling this. I will say, I think their scents tend to be complex, at least to me, or like, I guess what I'm saying is not always like the most wearable, even though I love keeping up with them, if that makes sense. So I'm excited to smell that one. I think it's fun that there's a pineapple note in there. From Mason Crivelli, there is Tuberus Astral. And I like a few scents from this house. I really like Oud Maracuya, I think it is, and Hibiscus. Oud? No. <laughs> is that right? Hibiscus Mahajan. Okay. Oud Maracuya is really, really good. I really love that. Very potent, very leathery, like oudy, but not like a stinky oud. I really get a lot of the leather. Honestly, it's like a fruity leather scent. Very powerful, very strong, very sexy. Anyway, that being said, this, you know, having tubero seem like a main component of this fragrance kind of scares me. This is inspired by the Milky Way though and shooting stars, which I love that imagery. Makes me want to smell it. The notes on this are cinnamon, tubero, Osmanthus, vanilla, and musk. I don't know if I would have thought initially like the Milky Way, stars, the galaxy, and stuff like that, um, but I am excited to smell it because of that tied to it. So I'm not sure if it's the right one for me, but I do want to smell it. And I will say, I feel like this house has, again, very strong perfume. So I'm assuming that one is going to be no exception and be very, very potent. Let's talk about a new celebrity fragrance. I'm categorizing this as celebrity. I think most people would, and I feel like the price point also says it is, but this is from Kylie Cosmetics or Kylie Jenner. It's called Cosmetics. It comes in three different sizes and I actually did end up picking this up. I'm wearing it today. I am planning to review it, but I will say it is good. I do like this scent. It kind of, okay, if I give you like quick comparisons, initial thoughts and sprays, it kind of gave me like Burberry Goddess vibes. I'm not saying it's exactly the same because it's a little more fruity, but I definitely thought of that fragrance when I sprayed it. And I also thought of Silk Santal from Kaoli, to be honest. So I don't know if you're hearing a lot of hype about it. I think that it's real. I think it's really good, really likable. And and I feel like it smelled almost more designer than it did celebrity, which I find really interesting. But this has notes of jasmine, uh, blood orange, it has amber and peony in it. And then it also has vanilla musk and cedar wood. I definitely get a sugary smell from this, something very vanillic with those fruity notes, but again, blended really nicely. So I wouldn't classify it as anything specifically fruity necessarily like to my nose. So I really like this actually. And it's $78, I wanna say for the big size, 100 mil. And I was happy to see that price. I feel like it falls in line more with like celebrity scents, but I really feel like you're getting a pretty quality scent. So anyway, I'm still testing it, but so far pretty good. And I also feel like the bottle is really pretty. I didn't know once I got it, if I'd still think it was nice. And part of the reason I ordered the big one, cause I really wanted to know the quality of essentially the full size to see. And I felt like if I got one of the smaller ones, I didn't know if it would like seem light or weight or whatever, just cause it's a 30 mil. So I went for the big one and I have to say the bottle is pretty heavy. It's simple and the cap also has some weight to it. So again, I. I did feel like it was delivering you guys and the spray on it is like a nice soft spray like I don't know quality where I wasn't necessarily expecting it but let's talk about some of the newest stuff I feel like I skipped to like maybe some older releases but in the body care world if you're a fan of missing person Fleur did launch the body oil so you can now have I want to say the hand cream there's a candle there's the obviously perfume and there's a body oil too not sure if there is a body lotion but I know there's a shower gel so <laughs> they're really completing the whole line missing person is like a big star of their show. So um, that is now out. I also want to talk about this body care release because it's with Sol de Janeiro. And although it's like sunscreen focused, I'm interested in the sense of these, to be honest. They do such great summary. I feel like body mist and all that. So I am expecting their sun care to also smell really good. This is the Rio Radiance. Oh, I'm realizing right now it probably smells like Rio Radiance, which is that kind of like coconut floral vanilla scent. So... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't think there's mystery behind it. I think we know exactly what it smells like and I think that's a good summer scent. So these are all SPF 50. There's a body spray, a body lotion, and a body oil. I'm kind of interested in the body spray. That's the one I'll probably get just for like having around and obviously for the summer pool days, out in the sun days, all of that. So I might pick that one up. Some other really big news in body care from Bath & Body Works. They're doing a collab with Bridgerton. I don't know if I've ever, I've never seen Bath & Body Works do a collab. Like I think this is really smart of them. I can only imagine this is going to be the start of lots more to come when it comes to Bath and Body Works. And it's an interesting one with Bridgerton. Okay, I have to say, looking at this picture, I, I think this stuff might be in store already. It technically fully launches on the 25th, but it's already kind of sneak peeked and you can get it in some stores and whatnot. But anyway, the gold color I wasn't expecting, I don't know, I'm not the biggest 
Bridgerton fan. Not that I don't like it. I just haven't really watched it. That's what I mean by that. I just haven't taken the time to watch it really. But I always thought it was like pastel blues, pastel pinks, pastel purples. Like that's what I felt like I was seeing more. And I'm kind of surprised by the gold. I guess it's regal, but I guess it's 32 items, five different scents. Holy cow. It's like a full on collection. There's uh, fragrances like Diamond of the Season, Queen of Charlotte's Tea, and obviously three other ones. So I definitely want to smell that in store. I think it'll be fun to pop in and give that a sniff and see what it's about. If you've smelled it already again, let me know what you think because I'm kind of excited for that. I don't know why. For someone who's not watching Bridgerton, who's never seen Bridgerton, like honestly, I'm too excited for that collection. Like that's how you know probably other people are more excited too, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, there's a new Alien from Mugler. This is Hyper Sense Eau de Parfum, and this is supposed to have Jasmine, which I believe the original Alien is like very Jasmine heavy, but there's Green Mandarin Pear, there's Cashmere in it. I am not an Alien girl. I'm really not a Mugler girl in general. I would love to see a Mugler vanilla. Let's, that would be amazing, but to be honest, for some reason, I feel like it would be vanilla sex from Tom Ford, like something like that, like a vanilla, but I'm like, <laughs> Oh, dang it, even the vanilla I can't like from you. I don't know why. Anyway, there's houses that you get on with, houses that you don't. I know a lot of people love Alien and Angel and so many of the other Mugler fragrances, but I don't know if that's the right flanker for me, but of course I'll give it a smell. Same with this Clean fragrance. I do not know the difference between the Clean Reserve line, the Clean Classic line. I mean, besides bottle and these are a bit more affordable, I wanna say like a little bit cheaper. I don't understand the structure of that or the reason for that. But anyway, this one is Spring Breeze. It has green apple and algae hides in it. So I'm kind of interested in smelling this actually. It seems like it's going to be really like airy and uplifting. There's also some jasmine in there, lavender, sandalwood, white musk. So that one I'd give a smell, but I just don't like the bottles to be honest. I don't really like the bottles and I know Clean is really known for the like laundry scent I want to say. Um, and I'm not usually a fan of something that soapy and clean, but that one I would smell if I was around somewhere. Something I'm really excited about. This is from Forever Mood, which is Jackie Ina's brand. And they're coming out with their first fragrance, which is so exciting and makes perfect sense. It's gonna be out April 2nd. So again, I'm gonna definitely pick this up. It's called I Am Her. And yeah, I think it might even be sold at Sephora. It's tagged at Sephora. So that seems really exciting. I don't even know if we have any like notes on it yet. Just that kind of initial launch. So very excited for that. I am happy for her. And it just, all of it again, makes sense. She already has the candles. She loves fragrance. I mean, this was the next step. So I'm hoping the notes seem like me, something I would like. And I'm really excited for that launch. Another kind of sneak peek. This one is from Balmain, I think is how you say it, Paris. And they're coming out with a fragrance. So a new designer scent. Part of me is surprised by this, but part of me isn't because I know they also do like hair products. So again, we've already seen some of these kind of beauty products from them. Um, and the bottle's like all black, very structural. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I guess they said it's the beginning of a new era for the house. So from that statement, I'm assuming they've had perfumes before, but it looks like they're revamping them up. I'm telling you, makes sense. I am excited to to check something new out. So that one is also like definitely on my radar. There are some new launches at Sephora. Brown Girl Jane is now in Sephora, which is so exciting. I really love Casablanca from them. And we're also getting a new perfume from them called Carnival. And this is a fruity floral. There's Caribbean mango, whipped musk, and vanilla. Very excited for this. I'm definitely gonna pick this up so I can let you guys know what I think. I think I've tried most of the fragrances from them. They had three for the longest time. Then they came out with, I wanna say three more. And now this I think is maybe the seventh perfume. So. Very, very excited for that. It seems like it's gonna be fruity, perfect for summer. And I'm excited that it's now at Sephora. It's just like a little bit easier to buy for me. Next from Net, this is called Pear Jam. And as you would expect, there's pear in here. There's rose and patchouli. I definitely wanna smell that one too. Um, interesting with the patchouli. I wonder how heavy it's gonna be, what it's gonna add to it. So that one seems really, really interesting. And then Sephora has also just launched a new fragrance sampler. This one retails for $90, but it has like deluxe bottles in here. And you know, honestly, I kind of say beware of this one to be honest if you want a few of these if you know going in There's a few that you want maybe it's right But the Sephora sale is just around the corner which you can use on this But you can also use on the other perfumes if you already know what you kind of like So these are the scents that are in there There's Burberry Goddess, which is very exciting and one of the better options in here You get to redeem it for a one ounce I want to say and I think that retails for like 105 or something So $90 105 it's still a better deal from by Rosie Jane There's Layla Lou in here and I believe you redeem that for the full size, which I think theirs is a 50 mil and that only retails for 75. So don't pay $90 for this set to get that perfume. You know what I mean? Unless you're giving it as a gift, you know, then you're gifting it and it 
it's a totally different calculation in that way. But if it's for you and you think you're like gonna get a good deal, be careful. There's Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Eau de Parfum in here. There's Gucci Bloom. Julia has a gun, not a perfume. That's one of the best values in here because you get the full 100 mil, I believe on that one. So if that's one of the perfumes on your list, you are getting a decent discount in here. But I feel like you can also get that perfume on gray markets and other places. So anyway, if you really wanted to save money, if this is all about the saving money for you, not the present or the experience or the little bottles, okay? <laughs> I'm really talking about the deal of it all. You know what I mean? Okay, next there's Nest Lychee Rose and then there's also Fleur Missing Person. So I believe the Nest fragrance is like right about the same price and the Fleur one is like $10 more. So there's a couple in here that you really are saving exact money, but I felt like there were some that were like right on or $2 less. Like I was like, these are too expensive. These samplers from Sephora used to be more in like the $60 price range and maybe even up to 75. I know this is the deluxe version. So you're not just getting a tiny two mil, you know, sprayer, but still just be careful with that. Also with the redeemable coupon, it's kind of like what's in stock at the time. So those are my thoughts on that. I know I'm spending a lot of time on this one, but I thought about buying it and doing a video. I do love these sets in a lot of ways. And, and I guess if you don't know exactly what you like, you want to be in the mood for testing. There is a lot to test in here. And again, they're not the smallest vials. I just want for anyone who is kind of into it, but is excited about the deal to know that this isn't necessarily the best for a deal. It's better for exploration. It's better for a gift if you like a couple of these and you're fine with having those little travel sprays type thing and then you get to redeem that's where your head should be at i feel like for that one all right continuing on there is a new one from mfk which is so exciting reflex damber i don't know i'm so bad at pronunciation i wish this clunky tongue could do it you know i hear everyone else and it's music to my ears it's like a harpsichord playing i speak and it's just like it's horrible <laughs> Anyway, I'm assuming amber is gonna be one of the main notes in here. Let me look up the notes actually. Okay, amber, vanilla, white floral, soft, spicy. Those are some of the like accords, but pink pepper, jasmine, vanilla, amber, some patchouli, very interesting. I definitely wanna get my nose on it and smell it. It's always exciting when there's a new fragrance from MFK. So I definitely wanna get my nose on it. Not sure if it's gonna be the right one for me because I doubt it's gonna be super sweet and I do like a sweetie perfume. There's also a new one from Fragrance de Bois, which I also always get a little excited about. This one is Sirene, I don't know, something like that. I think it means basically siren. It's supposed to embody the essence of mystery, sensuality, and empowerment. And it has notes of cherry in it, pepper, oud, incense. It says there's lactonic notes in here, which is kind of exciting. But then there's also moss, labdanum, cypriol, benzoin. So I am excited to smell this. I love the bottle. I love this imagery. I think it's so, so pretty. I've been brainwashed into liking the baby pink. <laughs> So I'm like obsessed with it, okay? <laughs> so that's an exciting one. There's also just so much coming out from Jo Malone. I cannot even keep up. Like, you know, it's exciting to have a lot coming, don't get me wrong, but also there becomes a point where you're just like, I can't keep any of you straight. I don't know what's a repromotion, what is new, what's going on. I want to keep up, I want to smell all the stuff, but when it's nonstop, it feels like a lot. So this one is Red Hibiscus. Let me know if this is a repromotion or if this is like a brand new scent, because this is one I'm actually kind of excited for. It says it has Mandarin, Red Hibiscus, and Vanilla in here. It's supposed to be a warm floral, and it just seemed a little bit more, I don't know, like heavy or sensual than some of the other Jo Malone scents or what I think about them. So this one caught my eye. I also I also saw that Pomegranate Noir was like, I don't know if it's back in stock because is that one limited or is that a part of the permanent line? I don't know, one of my foots is in the world of Jo Malone and I feel like I've been following that house for a long time even before being into perfume. But then at the same time, like I also am not that into it. I also don't know that that much about what's been limited and all that. So if you know about Pomegranate Noir, like should I pick that up? Cause I kind of want to smell it, but I don't think you can just smell it in store. Like I have a feeling that one is more limited. I just remember people being like, oh, I have to savor this or like really buy it every time it comes out because it's gonna be gone. Anyway, there were some other launches that I think only launched at Selfridges from Jo Malone. There's Emerald Thyme. This is very aromatic and citrusy with lemon, eucalyptus, thyme, rosemary, geranium, and moss. That one sounded just really refreshing. I would love to smell it, but I think these next ones all are like UK exclusives, which you can't order from Selfridges though. And sometimes you can get your perfumes way cheaper on there because of, I don't know, them not being in the US. I don't really get why, but I know that I 
I can definitely get some good deals on perfumes just from like conversion and whatever that is. Anyway, there's like three other ones. Musk Memento is a musky scent. There's aldehydes in it, ambrette, cedarwood, iris. It seems like it's gonna be a really clean one, but there's also some patchouli in there. So I would, again, love to smell that one. There's one called Ginger Beer. That one really caught my attention. This is a spicy woody scent with ginger, cedar, cinnamon, amaris, white musk, roasted oak, and vetiver. So again, I wanna smell ginger beer, <laughs> I really do. And then there's Passiflora, and this is like an ambery floral scent with cardamom, honeysuckle, vanilla, tonka bean, patchouli, and vetiver. That one seems not as much my style, but again, there's so many other ones that have come out. I feel like just this year, there's been two other like collections of three from Jo Malone coming out, a lot of like florals. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't even keep up. I think some of them are repromotions, but I like literally cannot keep up. It's it's kind of a lot. Okay, this one caught my eye. This is from McDonald's Japan. They're releasing a fragrance. I really, really, really wanted. I would love to get my hands on this. I should really look into it. This is one of those gimmicky kind of products and part of me loves it, part of me hates it. I don't know. <laughs> my part of the problem may be on it. I think I might start being, but it looks like one of the fragrances is like fries. It looks like French fries and I think it's supposed to actually smell like French fries, which is like, oil what is that gonna smell like i don't know so intriguing and enticing and maybe disgusting but then they have like sauce scents and i don't even know do you spray this on your fries because if you didn't know if you go to salt and straw not only did they do the collab with imaginary authors and they have a perfume you can actually buy and like spray on your body but they actually have perfumes you can spray on your ice cream like food perfumes but they're meant to like fragrance the food like that it's so interesting anyway just thought i would mention in case you didn't know that wanted to check it out um we did a sample of it I didn't like it personally, but I thought that was really cool. Anyway, I don't think this is like that for like McDonald's food or anything. I think it's actual perfume that smells like McDonald's food, not perfume made to go on McDonald's food, <laughs> okay? But it looks like one's like seaweed salt and one is crispy potato, garlic, black pepper, mayo. I don't know, I wanna have them for science, but these are, I think Japan exclusives are gonna be in Japan. So I don't know how accessible they're gonna be in the US to get. Sometimes those like beauty collabs and stuff are hard okay you gotta be like you gotta want it okay and also be lucky to get some of that stuff anyway last couple of things here this is a new one from kaoli and it looks like it's kind of a part of the udiasm collection and this is called smoky oud so i i don't know how interested i am in this it's rum saffron um geranium jasmine patchouli cedarwood guyacwood vanilla white musk oud it seems pretty heavy i mean i'm glad to see an oud line from kaoli i've still only smelled the vanilla oud i haven't smelled any of the other ones I really want to smell the cafe one, but I do feel like Kaoli has just released a lot. So in a similar way, it's like not hard to keep up, but it just feels like a lot. So I am excited to see what we get for like summer. I'm assuming we're still going to get something for spring and summer, even though we did get the sparkling lychee scent, but that came out like December. So I think we still have time to maybe get something fruity or something for the hotter months before we get back into fall. But anyway, I wanted to leave us off with these ones from the House of Bow, and I am excited to smell these. I think these new scents make it nine perfumes in the line at this point. So there's Oro Verde. This is a green fragrance, but it also has some watery notes in it too against a woody amber background. So I definitely want to smell that. There's Casablanca, which is white tea, white suede, and white oud. There's also a bit of smoky fig in that one. So definitely want to smell that one as well. And then Bonbon seems floral, but then it says it has white woods and cognac in it as well. So all this sounds super intriguing. I've enjoyed what I've smelled from this house. I feel like they offer something potent, but still kind of clean, still kind of, I don't know, likable overall. Even if there's notes or scent profiles that I'm not normally into, I feel like I still like them overall from this house. So I'm very interested in smelling those new ones for sure. But I think I'm going to leave it here today. Let me know what you're interested in smelling. What have you smelled? What's new in your collection or what is going to be new on the market that you're looking out for? I love hearing your guys' thoughts, talking fragrance, all of that. So thanks so much for watching. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.